Hello! Since I released my contrary course on how to rig the seagull, um, I've been getting a couple of messages asking about backward solve. And it's pretty simple setup, uh, so I just decided to do a quick video here on YouTube to show how I would apply the backward solve into this character. And I hope you find it really useful. Um, I also want to say that this might be my last video in a while, I'm not sure. That's because I've been working on a very important uh, personal project in the past nine months. So I'm expecting. <laughs> um, and baby is coming soon, so I don't know how that will go um, with a newborn and everything. As you guys know, I also have a full-time job. So we'll see how it goes. And yeah, that's it. Wish me luck. Uh, thank you so much. See you. Bye. So here I've done just a very rough quick animation just so we have something to test the backward solve. Um, so it's just a simple movement. And if we go to the rig, basically what we do is that we have the construction event. And the construction event is the one that gets the position of the bones and place the controllers. And what we do is that we literally copy the whole thing and we paste as a backward solve. And then the only thing you need to change is that instead of keeping the initial as you had in the construction event, you just remove the initial. So here in the backward solve is doing the same thing. It will get the position of the controllers and you'll, um, sorry, you will get the position of the joints and it will place the controllers where these joints are. And this is essentially what you need to do in the backward solve. In the case of the seagull, there are two things I've changed. So for the, there was a controller that was getting some transforms from the cog and some transforms from the head joint. In this case, I just connected everything from the head joint. And another thing was that the eye, um, it had like a name constraint to the eye, to this uh, controller here. So instead of using that aim and that setup, I actually just parent constraint uh, maintain the offset of the right joint and the right eye control. And then for you to test backward soles is quite simple. You just need to go here into use a specific animation. Then you select your animation and then nothing will happen. But if you click on here backwards and forwards, then it will hopefully play your animation and move all the controllers around. So you can see what's happening, what is moving, uh, what is being affected real time. And just to double check it all works, if you open the sequencer with this animation. And bear in mind, I've done this animation using the control rig that we developed in the course. So if I just go here and click on bake to control rig, single control rig. We're bringing some options. I'll just create straight away. And that's it. Now you have your Bake It uh, rig and then you can start editing on top of it. 